hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys the apple does not fall too far from the tree the saying goes but it looks as though this particular apple has not only not fallen too far from the tree it has now proceeded to take root right next to the tree that it has fallen off so with that guys i bring you this i was trained to destroy my opponents and this is el rufai's son commenting on the shehu sani's arrest by the efcc so that's the headline i was trained to destroy my opponent el rufai's son Belo comments on shehu musa's arrest by the efcc now let's see now what um omodadi has to say governor nasir el rufai's son Belo, who reacted to report of the economic and financial crimes commission efcc arresting former kaduna state lawmaker shehu sani over an allegation of extortion disclosed that he was trained to destroy his political enemies so now how senator shehu sani is the political enemy of belo nasir el rufai's little boy is beyond me because i do not of course know that uh, this belo has any political office or has ever contested for anything but i suppose that in kaduna they probably have the office of the governor's son they are assuming i don't know for a fact but from his language then of course he is certainly as uh, indicating that he has some sort of a political stake and not just backing his dad because he's now saying he's political enemies so this is what this boy is saying Belo, who alongside his father have been at loggerheads with Sheosani, stated that there is a limit to how deceit under the veil of populism can take one this is what he tweeted there are reports that former senator and current contender for best blogger of 2019 comrade and he put that comrade in quotation marks she Usani has just been arrested by the efcc operatives on a fraudulent related case there is a limit to how deceit under the veil of populism can take you a leopard and its spot so he's now quoting idioms as well so that's what he has to say then somebody uh piped back he says uh this is some uh ishai hamid ishai hamid is the person responding to his uh, tweet so he's saying this all this on twitter by the way the game is what it is he may have his flaws but there is more to this headline considering the fact that at b El Rufai is celebrating it. So this is something that I said previously in the original video that I did on the arrest of this uh, Sheo Mosa. Not in reference to what uh, Belo El Rufai is saying because of course I did not know at that time that I was commenting. But of course I was saying in that video that there is more to this case than the reasons that they are putting out in public at the moment. So this is now what this guy is indicating as well. And it carries on. We all know the nature of relationships between at El Rufai and at Sheosani, the latter has probably entered his persecution stage. So this is now what somebody has said in response and then of course in response to that this guy has now quoted that infamous line after a twitter user commented on how much below will love the news than anyone else the Kaduna governor's son wrote in a now deleted tweet i was trained to destroy my opponent so this is now what's now led to this now infamous tweet and this is not the first time by the way that this guy has made some half-brained unguarded comment that he has now quickly deleted but of course he's already put that out there and what this guy does not know is that anything that is on the internet is there permanently no matter how much you try to delete it because people would have screen grabbed as they have done in this instance and they will of course then hold you to account uh for the words that you have uttered but of course i am really leaning on the response that he got on his original tweet because this guy this isaiah hamid is saying that there's more to this headline and i am more of that view as well this is more a case of persecution than anything else and this is yet again another instance of somebody that is opposed to the buhari hegemony to the buhari structure being weighed down upon by the apparatus of the state this is what we're seeing play out again and this we 
play out more and more now in this year that we're entering now because of course they have an agenda for 2023 and for that agenda to come to fruition they have to silence all the voices that are dissenting towards their wants conversations in the comment section that is boy or my daddy is now piping up on twitter what says you what are you making of this now intrigue that uh Sieshe Usani is engrossed in within the Nigerian space with this added bonus of this Belo El Rufai now piping in from the sidelines to have a poke and a dig. Come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section. But before you do that, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me what exactly you think is happening regarding She Usani in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry on with you in the comment section over here. I say. Peace.